Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with Killer Sites, Killer PHP, and other sites. In this video tutorial, I'm going to answer a question that was recently put to me. What is the best type of computer setup for web design and web programming? So uh, let's cut to the chase. I think the best way to go is to get an SSD laptop. That's a solid state drive laptop. And if you can afford it, then you get yourself an external monitor. So as an example, let me just launch this particular photo. So there's something I picked up. Now you don't have to go Mac, although Mac is pretty cool. But here you see external monitor and you got your laptop. So why do you want to have a laptop and an external monitor? Why not you get a, a desktop? Well, because you want that flexibility with the external monitor especially if you get a high res monitor like a 2k display uh i'm now and we're now april 2014 so those will go yeah six to eight hundred dollars depending on the particular version although the mac one's going to be about a thousand um yeah the reason you want the big 2k display that you can connect your your laptop to is that you get that huge screen real estate which is really nice to work with uh, on top of that, you can, unlike in this photo, you can actually open up uh, this laptop screen and have two screens going. And that's very, very useful when you're doing any type of web design or programming work. It's very useful when you're doing spreadsheet work. It's just, it's just great. And the other reason you want the laptop is because just in case if you're a contractor, you can go see clients with it. Uh, if you don't feel like working in a particular room, you can move to another room. It's just so flexible. So why SSD drive? Uh, these days, that's the bottleneck in computer speed, the drive, the hard drive, not the CPU. Everybody talks about processor and CPU, and they say, you know, uh, how fast is, is the CPU? Well, when it comes to web design programming and 99% of computer work, CPUs are so fast today that you shouldn't really take a sec. You don't, I don't ever take a look at them, to be honest with you. They're just so fast these days. Uh, so even a moderate, weak, wimpy CPU is going to be plenty fast for your web design and programming needs, even for a lot of your Photoshop works. Because when you're doing Photoshop work for the web, for screen graphics, you don't need much horsepower because screen images are very light, right? They're only you know, 72 DPI, they're not these big 300 DPI images that you need for printing. So yeah, so the key to speed in modern computers is the SSD drive. And in fact, I'll never go back to a non SSD drive now that I switched over a few years ago. I initially did it with the MacBook Air. Uh, I think that's one right here in the picture. And then I got a, a Windows based SSD drive. I'll show you in a second. Pulling it out. This is a, this is actually a couple years old. I don't know if you can see it on screen. Look how thin it is. And this is a Windows 7 machine. And this is a couple years old. I bought this 2012, 2011. It's a great computer. It's a great computer. Um, but the newer ones are even greater. Now, besides the fact that they're super thin and they look good and they're light, easy to move around, because it's SSD drive solid state drive, it's super fast. And uh, that's something a lot of people are not aware of. In terms of your day-to-day -day operations of your computer, uh, again, the bottleneck is the hard drive because the computer is always seeking information in the hard drive. You're opening emails, it's going to hard drive. You're opening up a, a web page, it's going to hard drive. You're opening up a text file, it's going to hard drive. You're opening up an application, it's going to hard drive. Hard drive writing and reading, uh, it's called the, the I.O. is constant when you're using a computer. So the SSD drive is, is something like 10,000 times faster in terms of the, its initial read and write, its reading uh, of, inf of uh, information from disk. So it just makes the computer so much faster and zip here. And the boot time is incredibly fast. Even with my two-year-old Samsung uh, SSD-based computer, the laptop, it boots in Windows 7 in nine seconds code. It's super fast. It restarts in, you know, eight seconds or seven seconds. I haven't timed it recently. So that ability of the computer to move super quickly is, uh, you're going to love it. Uh, you're going to love it. Uh, so yeah, so if you get the SSD-based 
laptop, an external monitor to hook it up so you get that big presence. That's the ideal computer setup for web programming and web design. I hope you found it useful.